Welcome, welcome. My name is Solange Ellen and I'm recording this public notice from Madri Nation, Sandy Creek. I'm just going to try and do a screen share so I can uh, read from the notice. Okay. So public notice to Vincent Tarsia, Minister for Police, Emergency Services and Correctional Services, South Australia. Urgent attention, read the immediate release of Peter Horton as per our lawful people's orders as follows. Dear Vincent, we the people of the Sovereign First Nations are writing to engage your urgent assistance in the critical ongoing crime that is a matter of life and death. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I'm so tired. Please read for yourself. I probably can't even read my own writing. We the people are fearful for the life of Peter Horton, who is currently being unlawfully held in the Yatla men's prison. Peter is an insulin-dependent diabetic who is at extreme risk of death or permanent injury from the trauma and torture he's being subjected to through the unlawful deprivation of his liberty. His blood sugar levels are dangerously unstable which is something that Peter is able to manage using half the amount of insulin when he's free to care for his own medical and health needs outside of the corporate prison system. On Thursday, the 16th of September, 2021, Peter Horton was abducted by armed agents of SAPOL in a targeted attack at his property at 86 Liston Road, Lonsdale, where Pete operated his business, SA Composters, and also made community space and facilities available for the meetings of the Common Law Court Assembly of South Australia and the development of a First Nations cultural centre and a community garden. Pete is a man of great strength, courage and service to our community. He has been working diligently for years in dedicated self-funded service in his commitment to find lawful remedy and peaceful resolution to, to end the ongoing crimes against children, against families and against our community as a whole crimes that are being perpetrated under the fraudulent claims to authority being made by the corporation posing as the government of South Australia and all of the corporate for-profit and power departments that operate under the direction of the fraudulent governments. His stand for truth, for peace and freedom is why he was targeted and why he has been deprived of due process and is being prevented from defending himself lawfully. Pete is being held as a political prisoner in the ongoing spiritual war between we the free people who are in surrender to the truth and to the divine and those who remain loyal to the corporate fraud of human enslavement. Regardless of the charges laid against Pete by the for-profit corporate SAPO officers, charges which have still not been read out in court, this is three months that Pete has been held now, and Pete has not been able to defend himself against. We, the honestly informed people who know and love Pete, know he is a respected and highly valued member of our peace and freedom community. Peter Horton poses no threat of harm to our community, quite the opposite. We, the people, are much safer with Pete free to continue to do his valuable community service work, which he has done at great expense to himself, risking and sacrificing everything to bring the truth to light. The truth is that these corporations are currently operating without any lawful sovereignty, without any jurisdiction of law and without the permission of the real sovereign First Nations elders, lawmen and women, and without the consent of we the honestly informed people who are in declared who are in declared party to our People's Peace Alliance and People's Treaty with the sovereign First Nations. These corporations are in reality agents of the foreign power being controlled from the top down by the international banking cartel and other foreign interests that do not follow or serve the will of we the people and who in truth are operating a child and human trafficking and slavery operation which is being passed off to the deliberately disinformed community as legal. You are hereby notified that as of the as of October 13th, 2021, a complete cessation of claim to jurisdiction by all systems of corporate government and law on this continent to the real original nations, the international land law border courts, and the people has been declared as a matter of public and historic record. What is going on, not only with the dangerous damage being caused to Peter, 
but to the many thousands of people being unlawfully imprisoned using corporate policy generated by the for-profit corporations is nothing short of a real-time crime against humanity by an organised crime gang operating within the corporate fraud. The reality is the unresolved matter of 233 years of genocide here in the Sovereign First Nations by a fraudulent system of law that is in truth a slave system. We call on you, Vincent, to do the honourable and the lawful thing and arrange for the immediate release of Peter Horton to his family, friends and community who hold grave concerns for his life and welfare. Failure to action this lawful direction will result in you being individually held to full public account and directly prosecuted in the international proceedings into genocide that are being prepared now. We're all equal as brothers and sisters under the real law of this sacred sovereign First Nations land. We each have an absolute responsibility to respect and uphold each other's human rights, the most vital being our right to life and liberty. The community has every right to expect complete transparency and accountability throughout all systems and from all system workers and people occupying positions of falsely assumed authority within the corporate fraud. We call on you to do the right thing by Peter, his family and our community now. Do the lawful and humane thing and arrange for Peter's immediate release now on compassionate and medical grounds. All of the details of this matter are being recorded and documented, collated, collected, collated, published and distributed directly to the public and a wide international network of lawmen and women and our original sovereign elders for review and audit and will be used as evidence in due course. Everyone involved in keeping Peter unlawfully in prison beyond tomorrow, Thursday the 16th of December 2021, against the will of we, the honestly informed people of our People's Peace Alliance and People's Treaty, will be prosecuted and held to full account for their part in this evil. In truth, Solange Ellen, on behalf of we, the honestly informed people of Ghana and Naturi National Sovereignty through our People's Peace Alliance. Okay, so this is really important, you know, the truth and freedom community, all of us peace and freedom lovers uh, that know Pete, and even if you haven't had the opportunity to meet Pete directly, you will still be benefiting right now from the work that Pete has done and the foundation that he has laid for us in exposing the fraud and bringing the truth to light. And this is really an urgent matter. He's not well, he's not well at all. And we need to hold him in the light of our, our conscious, um, you know, our collective conscious awareness and really be, um, you know, holding in our heart that what is right and lawful and the honestly informed will of the, we the people will be done. So, yeah, please do what you can to share this and to be talking about P and pray for P if you're someone, you know, of faith, hold him in your heart that he will be released. And, yeah, we just need to all stand together to make sure that we are, we the people are restoring the real law here, the divine and natural law, so that we can look after each other and, you know, make sure that we're all protecting each other's right to free will and peace and freedom. Okay, thank you.